Hello friends, today we will talk about the web console in RHEL 8. So web console means console which you can access through web browser. So it is a web based uh, management tool that allows you to complete many common RHEL tasks from a web browser. So if your workstation runs different operating system like Windows, Mac or Ubuntu, you can still use a web browser on it to connect to the RHEL web console and manage the virtual machines running on the RHEL system. This is one of the features included with RHEL 8 beta version and give ability to manage virtual machines from the web console. It is uh, also called cockpit. So in uh, RHEL 7, the primary GUI tool that is uh, being used for this is Word Manager. But now it has been deprecated in RHEL 8. So the web console is installed by default on most RHEL 8 installation unless you do a minimal installation. So if you are doing uh, very less without GUI or another thing, so this installation will not be there. However, the web console is not started by default also. So the first step is to enable it with this command. But to manage uh, virtual machines from the web console, we need to install and enable some additional packages, which is cockpit machines package. So let's install that also. So in my case, uh, on my system you can see there's nothing to do because it's already been installed here. You can also install Word Weaver if you want the ability to open a graphical console in the desktop Weaver from the RHEL 8 system locally. So uh, for that uh, you have to install Word Weaver like this. So here also I already have installed on my system so there is nothing to do. So friends our cockpit uh, has been installed now. You can access RHEL web management console through any browser. Now open your browser, enter the system host name or IP address followed by 9090 port. So this uh, web console runs on 9090 port. log in to the web console with the root account or with any other rel account if uh, you are using if you are using another account which has a sudo access setup you can check the this uh, checkbox reuse my password for privileged task box in order to have the web console use sudo for privileged task so log into it let's log in okay fine so this is the dashboard will you what you will see it on the first screen so you can see on my left side all the menus are here system logs storage networking virtual machine accounts users accounts what are the services are running on our system what are applications available there diagnostic report this is SAS report what you got it the kernel dump if you required the AC Linux policies contexts any software updates would be there or whatever the subscription you have applied for for the Red Hat you will get it here even through the terminal you can get it connected to it so let's check on each menu what's been available to us 
so in system that will be the first you can see that it giving all the information about the system its hardware machine id operating system here you can check it that what are the updates available for this system so if you will click here it will get it updated so in my case uh, the network is little slow so otherwise it will give you all the whatever the uh, updates required for the system it will provide all the list of those one and uh, then you can do the installation from this console also so let's back because my sister my network is slow from this position this location I don't need it right now so let's check other things it's, it's still checking here let him check so here you can see this uh, all other host name is provided here so if you want to change it you can change it from here also host name domain the system time you can also even start and shut down the system from here here you can also see the health of the system you can see that how much uh, cpu has been consumed and uh, the memory or the swap status disk network traffic so this is uh, very easy or if you required you can go inside and get more detail on it so for each you can go inside and check the detail of it let's move to logs you here you will get all the system logs here you can even filter it on the basis of only emergency or critical one and above and other things so it will give you all the info and above so it will give you provide you all the logs here and uh, if you want to check it uh, more detail on it you can just click it and get the detail of this log you can check the storage what are the storage reading writing every information if you require to add any hardware to it the storage you can add it from here like this one you can add it how much is it? so even you can do the so or i can if you want to add it you can give the detail and add it to it it will give you all that how much it has been consumed and what are the partitions and uh, if any logs will be there related to a storage it will provide you all the logs related to it in the case of networking if uh, you can get all the information about the firewall any active rule right now it's off if you require to switch on the uh, firewall you can switch on here like this any active rules is there is right now four active rules if you can see it will give you the rule if you want to add any services for example if you have to open any port or anything you can add it here that which for which services you want for example you can say for the dns i want to add the service so you can add it the service here it will automatically will take the port you can see it here tcp port what is been required here and if you want to remove it right now you can see that cockpit at 9090 has been opened here so that's why we are able to see this uh, whenever so in this case uh, if you are not able to access this web console so just check the firewall that uh, for the cockpit 1990 is being opened so if this port is open for tcp then it's okay you will able to access it otherwise you go and just add it as a permanent uh, port to it so you can do it uh, let's delete it if you want to remove anyone so you can remove it like this it's very simple here so it's very easy to uh, manage the firewall from here you can add it even the bridge or any uh, nick or anything you can add it here easily so if you want to add it any bridge to it you can just enter whatever you require from here you get all the locks here whatever the networking locks will be available to you so you can check it all here in virtual machine so if you are not getting this menu here 
for the virtual machine so just check whether cockpit machines whatever the command I showed you before is being installed or not so for the virtual machine to manage the virtual machine on this uh, rail system you require uh, cockpit machines to be packages to be installed there so just be careful about this so in this machine right now on this uh, rail this is a VM for the testing purposes I have not created creating any virtual machine on top of it but if you require to create a virtual machine on top of the like uh, if this rail system is on the physical machine and you want to create the virtual machine on top of it you can create it so you have to just go here create virtual machine so give the connection type the name of the virtual machine installation type its size memory everything you can give it and what operating system you have to install it and you can create it so it will be listed here and you can manage virtual machine very easily from here even whatever is there you can add it also you can also add you know the network available to it and the storage so this is all you can do it from the virtual machine here even you can you uh, manage the user accounts like uh, I have only two user admin and root if you have to create a new user for example you have to create it uh, Raymond password you can put it whatever you like and you can create the user here okay so it's not taking my password right now I think it will take this password Oh, it's not taking this password let me put it some complicated so that this time it will not provide me this error hopefully I think now it will not provide this warning to me okay fine so it's created a new user that is Riman this is uh, you can check it through the terminal also here you can see that the uh, terminal is here you can check it from here also so here very easy to create the users you can go to the services so all the services whatever is running you can see here it show you the status of it is id descriptions you can check what our inactive services or active services are here all will be listed here whatever re running here so if it is this is inactive account services so you can do just click that services and then you can start this again or restart reload or you if you want to disable it you can disable it or you want to there are lots of other options you can see here so you can control these services from here if you would require to uh, whatever the services is using in or dependent on it or conflicts will be there so it will be listed here all so you can check if any service is available or not here targets here sockets whatever the sockets available here so it will provide you or timers so whatever the units is available it will provide you all the status of those units applications whatever applications are installed here right now it's a machine only so when you click it there is no nothing no applications been there diagnostic report it will give you a SAS report so whenever you required a SAS report for the whole system be careful it is very uh, mm, it will be very sensitive report about your system so be careful about this thing so you can create the report for the diagnostic for checking your system all the reports here for health and other things if we required a kernel dump you can also take the kernel dump so right now its status is on if my system get crash in that case it will create a report or it will just dump so if I just say test configuration then it will crash my system right now so I cannot test this thing but you can do it on your system for testing whether it's working fine or not on these <coughs> AC Linux you can see all the policies being there on the context will be there 
you can uh, enable and disable the SE policy here software update as I told you that it's still uh, updating the software so which is required it will let you know whatever the system are already all these available updates are there and which you whatever this you feel that it's necessary for your all the required updates are there and uh, you want to update so you can update from here also subscription is uh, for this uh, red hat one it will let you know that uh, what's the status of the subscription here terminal as I told you it's already been connected so you can connect it and you can check it for example host name what's my host name here or Alice so you can do if you have to do any managed work work which is not been on the web console and you want to com configure mean uh, communicate to your system so you can do like this you can manage through this system so overall web console is very useful feature they have added here and make it powerful red hat you can easily manage your system through this one and uh, if you are not the root user you are an ordinary user or normal user and if you as I told you on the login page that uh, for the pseudo privileged access you can click that checkbox and you are able to do lots of other things here so this is all about the web console friends thank you very much for watching my videos request you to subscribe for my channels to get it more videos on the RAL 8 thank you for watching all my videos